Hi, I'm Derek Hilton. Now I photograph and film wildlife, and I also practice at making wildlife documentaries, which is exactly what I'm doing today. Now I'm down at Cape Shank, and I'm going for a walk down to Bush Rangers Bay, which is 2.6 kilometres, so it won't take as long to get down there. And I'm going to film the wildlife and anything else I can find around the place, flowers and uh, bits and pieces. So uh, enough talking, let's get going. Uh, here we go, bit of bush tucker. Yeah, that's one of those coastal heaths that have uh, fruit on them. That's the little white one, and that's um, like every other bloody bush tucker you find in Australia that's uh, a native fruit. They're bitter sweet, so they're not nice to eat, and they're best left for the birds. And there's uh, another one around here that's red, and it's just over there, so we'll have a look at that as well. We've got cliffs on one side and the sea and we've got, as you can see just here, farmland and there are hundreds of rabbits, absolutely thousands of them. So obviously uh, the eradication program ain't working too well. Yeah. Big roo just down there, big grey. Getting a few things already. Well, breakfast time. Doesn't look very appetising, actually. Dead kangaroo, but something. Has had quite a feast. We foxes. <laughs> oh, here we have a bird's nest, nice and low to the ground. No eggs in there. It's all finished. So this year's though, it looks very fresh. And it's covered in this moss. Now, one of the birds that loves to put moss around their nest to camouflage it is the ground thrush. I'm pretty sure it is. But he didn't camouflage it all that well, did he? Because I spotted him. Well, I thought it was about time for a selfie now yeah, that I'm down at my destination on the beach. So, uh, the wind's a bit strong on the mic, but uh, bad luck. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at the beach. I'll try and get the camera as still as I can. Let's see how we go. Well there you go, now I thought I had the beach to myself but as I was just panning then I see there's a couple of surfers on the beach, that was a bit of a uh, surf, so we'll have a look around the place and uh, see what we can find.
great find. Hawks nesting just in the rocks here. Fantastic for me, I haven't uh, been able to film or photograph a hawk or a kite or anything like that, so I'm wrapped. Well, it's a bit of a quieter spot to have a talk. That was a great little beach, enjoyed that walk. It's not that far to go. And, uh, filming those kites or hooks, whatever they were. I'll find out when I get home and I'll write it down there. It was really good. I also got some action shots of uh, birds in flight. Here they are. So yeah, had a bit of fun here. It's a really good little bay. Um, Bushranger Bay. Now, I don't know why they call it Bushranger Bay. Someone might have been raiding uh, hikers. Who knows? I'll find out the history of that and I'll put it down there. If I can find something. Yeah, I'd be calling it Raven Bay, as you can probably just pick out the ravens in the background there, squawking away. There's hundreds of them down here. Yes, Raven Bay, that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, I'm going to see you tomorrow, and I'll be bright and early, and we're going to go and have a look at, still down at Cape Shank, and have a look at the pinnacles uh, where I used to go scuba diving. So, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to have to walk down a lot of steps and then back up. So, I'll see you then. Well, good morning. I'm back at Cape Shank and we're going to walk down to Pinnacle Rock on the other side there. And it is a beautiful morning. So we'll go and have a look at what wildlife we can find down there. So, yeah. Got to go down them steps. Long way to go. Let's get going. It's very calm this morning. And a very light breeze. The waves are very calm as well. Now this is where I used to do a lot of scuba diving. You'd go out through this channel here, go around the back of Pinnacle Rock and then drop down into deep ravines, uh, going through big bull kelp forests and a lot of other seaweed around down there. There's lots of crayfish and other types of fish so it's uh, a real good adventure. Now, scuba dive isn't much different to bushwalking, really. To swimming, of course. Yeah, had a lot of fun when I was younger. But I'm just not fit enough to do that anymore. Leave that for the young blokes. Right, tides up, so a bit of a climb around the rock to get to Pinnacle Rock. I'll go and do it. This is becoming quite a common sight these days. Thong on its own on the beach. Back in my day when I was younger, I used to see two thongs on the beach. It just shows you where society's heading, I suppose. Sad sight. Well, I've come here a lot of times and I keep saying to myself, I'll count the steps one day. Today's the day. Give him a cap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty-eight. Two hundred and five. Well, just a quick walk down to uh, Pinnacle. 
bit of a look around, some really nice colours, unusual colours on plants, very pastel sort of colours that you don't get anywhere else. So yeah, had a great time down there and we'll have another walk somewhere else now. Now how many steps did I say? Damn. One, two, three, four. Well, good morning, and it certainly is. The sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. Cows are mooing, and I'm back down at Cape Shank for one more walk. Fingal Bay we're going to, two kilometres. Well, let's get going and have a look what we can find. Hopefully get a lot of wildlife down here. Well, I've made it to the lookout. The beach is just down there a little bit further. About another K probably. Very calm this morning, no wind, it's awesome. Now, as usual, I like to have the place to myself on the tracks and in the bush, but uh, mm, lots of tracks in the sand, they look quite fresh. So I might have to share. Bugger. Enough talking. Let's get down to this beach, eh? Well, found another nest. And that is a yellow robin. Leave it alone. Lots of bloody steps. Well, I thought it was time for a selfie, now that I'm down on the beach. Now, I've got a new name for this place, and that's 2,000 steps. Because I'm quite sure that's how many there are to get down here. And my arm's starting to kill me, so uh, I'll give you a little bit of a pan around the place. Here we go. It is only a little, very tiny bay, but uh, we'll have a look around so we can find. I found something already, a bit of wildlife. Have a quick look, eh? <laughs> Struggling a bit with the camera this morning. Yeah, it is dead, but it's still a bit of wildlife. There's lots of uh, uh, cuttlefish around the place. All right, let's go and have a look at something else. Yesterday, it was a thong all by itself, very lonely, and today, it's a runner. Don't know what the world's coming to. Well, that's a much better sight to see, isn't it? A pair of runners on the beach, very romantic. Cliffs around this beach. Very sandy, sort of compact soil. It's 
smoother down here obviously it's probably a lot more solid so that's all sort of very honeycombed because it's been weathered by wind and rain and it'll probably drop on my head at any minute so I probably shouldn't stand here for too much longer It's quite different from one end of the beach to the other. To the west we just have like more sandy sort of rocks and down the east end of the beach it's very colourful volcanic rock. So it's quite different from one end to the other. See lots of different colours of reds and muddy colours like baby poo. God, I've had enough of this beach now. Head off back home, go and have a capra. If you're going to come walk down to this beach, it's very private, it's quite quiet. I think the only people that probably use this more than anyone would be the surfers, or skegs like we used to call them when I was a young bloke. Yeah, all right, I've got to climb these steps now. And no, I'm not counting. Did I say 2,000 steps? I think it's more like 3,000 steps. Well, that cup of tea is looking real good now. Well, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> I don't know where I am at the minute. They said on the trail, shortcut to the uh, Pines car park. Well, it was a shortcut for someone else, but not for me because I've got to walk 300 metres or more to try and find where my car is. So there you go. Found my car, thank goodness. And that's the end of walking around Cape Shank. Hope you enjoyed it like I have. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And boy, am I going to enjoy that cup of tea. All right. Catch you around the place.